to some extent my experience wouldn't be typical because I spent a lot of time helping working with uh, the directors of Portworth Trust of all types whether they were owners or um, you know had directors on the board of a football club or you know were outside um, and all sizes Premier League all the way down to non-league football so I to, to, to a large extent I kind of you know I knew I knew I knew the environment well um, and I and I was lucky enough to know and I am lucky enough to know people like Chris Stewart and and others who were who were on the board um, before me, um, uh, uh, you know, because I've been around those people for a long time, been friends with um, many of them, um, and I knew that the situation um, was changing, in that the club was moving from being <clears throat> much more directly under the the um, kind of almost the management of the Don's Trust board at times to being a supervisory. Um, you know, oversight um, um, body where it was kind of checking, marking the homework, if you like, setting the framework, making sure that things were um, were recorded and reported, and things were transparent for for, for fans, for members, um, and fans. Um, so, in many ways, lots of the things that I've seen, lots of things I experienced, were things I was expecting to see. Um, uh, in that sense, nothing's really surprised me.